Well, Russia's president has promised to supply free grain to several African countries. Vladimir Putin has welcomed African leaders to an economic forum in St. Petersburg. The collapse of the Black Sea deal on Ukrainian grain exports is causing concerns in Africa about rising food prices as well as shortages. Putin is seeking to reassure Africans that Russia is a reliable partner. Russia's share of the global wheat market is 20 percent. Ukraine is less than 5 percent. This means it is Russia that is making a significant contribution to global food security and is a big and responsible supplier of agricultural goods. Those who claim that this is not the case and talk of ensuring the so-called grain deal are twisting the facts, telling lies. Well, we'll speak to Malcolm Webb in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, in just a moment. But first, let's go to Ali Hashem. He's covering that summit for us there in St. Petersburg. Ali, it feels like this is quite the symbolic gesture there from Putin. Well, yeah, President Putin uh, is uh, right now welcoming. He, he, he welcomed the presidents of the uh, 17 African countries during this uh, summit earlier today. And mainly this summit was about... Uh, soothing the African concerns over the, uh, the, the, the fall of the grains deal. So now, with this um, uh, initiative from the uh, Russian president, he's, he's trying to um, uh, set an, an example, in a way or another, in the middle of a struggle for Africa. We all know that Russia is looking forward to uh, um, uh, secure its interests in the, in the continent. And there is a struggle between Russia, China, and the West over the, the continent. So in this, in this summit, the uh, Russians were trying to provide this initiative. And it seems that there are other initiatives that also Putin was um, trying to uh, uh, convey through his uh, uh, speech uh, on the technological side, on the energy side, food uh, security, security side. Um, if you go around this uh, 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 forum, there are many companies uh, showcasing their own um, material elements, equipments, uh, uh, agriculture, military. So it's kind of a, 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 an attempt by the Russians to reach out to the Africans on the second time. The first time was around four years ago, but today it, it seems different, especially with number of uh, African leaders participating in the summit around half the ones mm. that participated in uh, 2019. Interesting tone there in St. Petersburg. Ali Hashem at that conference for us in Russia. Thank you. Well, let's get the view from Africa now and speak to Malcolm Webb, who joins us from Nairobi. Malcolm, Kenya won't be getting any of the free grain that's been announced, but food security has been a huge issue on the continent, exacerbated by the war in Ukraine. Well, Kenya's President William Ruto announced just a few days ago uh, that he wouldn't be attending the Russia-Africa summit, which takes place at a time when Russia and the West are competing for influence uh, in Africa. Uh, Kenya has historically uh, aligned itself with the West ever since independence from British colonial rule. Uh, so possibly that explains uh, why it wasn't among the beneficiaries. But neighboring Somalia was among the countries named by Putin that will receive grain. Uh, Somalia is suffering a hunger crisis. People are dying following uh, one of the worst droughts in decades. Now, in previous years, uh, almost all of its grain imports have come from Ukraine and Russia, about two thirds from Ukraine, about a third from Russia. A lot of that grain goes first to Egypt, where it's milled before it arrives in Somalia. And the tens of thousands of tonnes of grain that Putin was talking about uh, would make up a very small proportion of the hundreds of thousands of tonnes mm. of grain that Somalia depends on each year. Uh, Malcolm, what are the biggest priorities then, the African leaders who've chosen to go to St. Petersburg, what did they want to get out of this? Well, grain and food security uh, is a priority uh, for some. High food prices uh, across the world in recent years have been devastating uh, for the least wealthy uh, people across the African continent. And while those people, uh, many of them live in countries where they have no meaningful way of holding uh, their governments to account. Uh, hunger and a high cost of living can cause unrest and instability and threaten uh, governments' grips on power. Here in Nairobi in recent weeks, we've seen protests uh, against the high cost of living. People have been killed uh, when police have broken them up. Uh, Defence, uh, access to Russian arms and military support 
uh, is also a, uh, a priority uh, for some of the governments there. The leaders of both Mali and the Central African Republic are there. Both of those countries were named by Putin as recipients of grain, and both of their governments depend on the, on the Wagner mercenary group uh, to provide security uh, for those governments to, uh, to survive. Malcolm Webb there in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi for us. Thank you, Malcolm.